Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. In this lesson, we're going to quickly take a look at how you can insert audio files into your presentation. And audio files are different from video files in that they don't give our users anything to look at. It's purely something for them to listen to. So maybe you have a section of a podcast that you've recorded that you want to include in your presentation. Or maybe you have a message that you want to include. For example, I might want to include a welcome message for this presentation because sometimes it's really nice for your customers or people who are watching this presentation to hear your voice, particularly if you've sent this to them via email. It adds a bit of personality and helps build a connection. And it's really simple in PowerPoint to insert any audio file. Now, it might be that you have an audio file already saved off to your PC. Maybe it's a company audio file. And if that's the case, you can insert the audio file from your local drives, much the same way that you would insert a video that you've got stored off locally or even a picture. If we jump up to the insert ribbon, you'll notice all the way over in the media group, we have a drop down for audio. And if I choose audio on my PC, as you would expect, it's going to pop open File Explorer and we can then go through and simply select our audio file. The other option is you can record audio on the fly to include in your presentation. And that's what we're going to do here. Now I'm going to add this to the very first slide in our presentation. So let's scroll all the way back up to the top and I'm going to add a welcome message to this first slide. So let's jump up to audio and let's go into record audio. And what you'll get here is a little recorder window. So the first thing we need to do is just give our recording a name. So I'm going to call this welcome message. And then notice underneath we have a little record button. So as soon as you click that, it's going to record everything that you say. So let's click it and record a quick welcome message. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Secret Adventures, tailor-made trips for adventurous souls. We hope you enjoy this marketing presentation, which really showcases everything that Secret Adventures has to offer. So I've recorded my message. I've clicked on stop. I can play it back or I can simply click on OK to insert that audio file. And notice we get this little icon come up, which we can place underneath. And all the user needs to do is simply click on play. Hello everybody and welcome to Secret Adventures, tailor-made trips for adventurous souls. So audio files can work really well and add a nice little touch of personalization to your presentations. Also be aware that if we click on the audio file, notice that we get two contextual ribbons, audio format and playback. So if we go to audio format, we have very similar options to when we're clicked on a picture. I could even choose to change the picture that I'm using. So instead of this little audio icon, I could replace it with a completely different icon. So let's go for audio and see what we get. I'll just do this to show you a little musical note. Let's insert and there we go. So it's entirely up to you how you choose to edit this. Also notice on the playback ribbon, we have other options that we can utilize. So once again, I can specify if I want this audio clip to start playing automatically when the slide loads or if I want it to play when it's clicked on. Now, in this example, I only want it to play when the user clicks on it. I can choose to play it across slides or even play it in the background of every single slide. I can loop it around until I choose to stop or I can rewind after playing. I even have similar options for trimming my audio. So if I click on this option, if I want to trim a little bit of space off of the beginning, I can drag that in and also might want to trim the dead space at the end. Click on OK just to trim that file. So very similar options to when we're inserting video. So have a little play around with those and see how you get on. 
If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.